impressive performance tonight. Uh, two touchdowns in offense, one rushing, uh, one receiving. And you really, I don't know what your tackles were, but in the first half, I kept hearing your name being called. Just talk about your overall performance today. Um, well, my overall performance, I think I did good for tonight. I had to come out here, go to work. How do you feel about the game planning coming into this game and how well you executed? I feel like the coach is doing good for the game. I, mean, I trust my boys very well. We're going to go out here and go to work every time. So. These two games I've covered, you've had two spectacular punt returns for touchdowns. What happened on that on that one? Uh, I was just trying to get make a position for my team. I mean, get on the board quick, try to make it happen. Coach gave me the green light for it, so I took it. So it looked like you were, uh, it, it, you had a defender pretty much on you. I think he thought you were going to fair catch it, and you like paused there yeah. intentionally, right? <laughs> it was like, oh no, he just gave me the green light. So he, he trusts me enough to make plays like that. I can't be There were some things that I thought we did really well. Um, I like the way we executed, especially in the run game early. I think some of the things in the passing game, we want to clean up a little bit, get the ball out a little bit quicker than what we were doing tonight. Um, but I mean, overall, you, you can't complain when these teams able to score 41 points. We had a number of missed cues on special teams, but I think coming out, we established our game, what we want to do, and it's one of those things, if you can take away the pass, put, put your energy in there, we're going to run the football. And our guys did a good job up front. I got to give our offensive line credit um, up front, the way they blocked it, did a good job up front. Coach Thompson does a wonderful job, and our defensive staff does, of just game plan, preparing for teams, putting our guys in a position where they can play fast. And we don't want to overcomplicate things. I want my guys flying around to the football, giving great effort. I think that's what they're they're doing on the on the field. You know, at times, you know, obviously we did give up a play here and there, but that's that's the game of football that's going to happen. And our kids understand to fail fast, fall forward, and they did a good job tonight just pursuing the football and just attacking them. And you know, that's kind of what I wanted to see. Rail and Christian are dynamic football players. They're D1 talents. There's no doubt about it. Um, you know, they live for those type of moments. Um, but the good thing about both those kids is they're they're contributing all three phases of the game. Um, and so to see those guys back on the field, it's like which one do you want to kick to? Um, and you know, they're going to make you pay usually uh, most of the time. The things we got to clean up to make those touchdowns count is those little you know crack black blind side hits and stuff like that. Things that we can do better that we can control. But I mean, God's blessed them with a gift, and you know they they have the ability to make those explosive plays when the ball's in their hands. The other kid that really impressed me tonight was Braden Smith, number one, uh, offensively, but then really in the first half, I don't know how many tackles he had, but the first half I kept hearing his name come up as the primary tackler. Uh, just talk about the athlete you have in him. No, it's in the family. Uh, they're, they're, those Smith uh, kids can flat out play from top to bottom. Um, and Braden's just been a great guy that stepped up, that played for us a lot. Um, you know, with that played for us on ninth grade and was dominant um, as a ninth grader. And we knew we transitioned to make that jump. And the way he stepped into it just proves us as a staff that we were correct and, and knowing that he could handle these type of moments. And he's growing game by game. And it's good to see him and Caden out there together um, flying around. Um, but there's no doubt that, you know, he's a big time player for us. And I, I think he's just, you know, going to continue to get better from here. We're, we're excited. I mean, any, any, t any victory you get, you take. Um, and it's, you know, again, we start school tomorrow, so that produces its own distractions. And we got to refocus and move on. And the goal is to be three in week next week. And, you know, got to take it one day at a time. But, you know, I'm excited for our kids. We had a, a game where it seems like we're relatively healthy um, coming out of this game, but we've been banged up. And hopefully we can work to get some of those guys eventually back. Um, that will give us even more depth offensively and defensively on special teams. So uh, I'm excited to be 2-0, and I don't think any coach that you know, is, is, is unhappy about 2-0 probably is not being a profession. So, <laughs> so we'll take it.